Hi everybody, today we're going to make hummus. And hummus is an ancient dip from popular in the Mediterranean and it's made out of garbanzo or chickpeas, that's the two names for the same thing. It's made out of tahini. Tahini is a paste of ground sesame seeds. It uses olive oil and this is a place to use your, your best olive oil. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Lemon. I like fresh lemon. You can use lemon, bottled lemon that you get in the grocery store, but this tastes and smells so much better. Then we're going to flavor it with garlic and cumin and red pepper flakes for those that want it. That'll be optional. So those are our ingredients. Very simple. Our tools are the blender, can opener, measuring cups, measuring spoons. This is called a reamer. This is to get the juice out of the lemon. This is a handy little tool to have. I'm going to use my big knife to cut the lemon. But you can use a smaller one. This is a regular, this is a girl knife at my house again. Because um, it's not sharp and little girls could have it. Um, I'm going to use this to stir up this tahini because it's like when you buy natural peanut butter. The oil separates a little bit on the top and you need to stir it. I'm going to use this to get the tahini out of the blender and into this cute little ramekin so that everybody gets their very own portion and double dipping will be allowed. These are fun. I use these things all the time for all kinds of things. A zester. I love this too. Not, not necessary for the recipe but I want to show it to you. This is to get the lemon zest off of here and into the dip and then I'll give it a stronger lemon flavor. But it's optional. This is to measure the bean juice. We're only going to use some of the juice that's in this can. This is to put the lemon juice in so that um, if there's seeds in there, they can stay in the bowl and they won't end up in your dip. Always annoying when you have lemon seeds where you don't want them. Okay, we're going to start with the beans. These are canned beans, super convenient. Uh, they do have sodium in them, and organic and regular beans have about the same amount of sodium, so it doesn't matter here on this particular kind of beans. That's not true of all kinds of beans. But, so I'm using my favorite can opener, opening this up, and I'm going to drain these beans into this handy dandy measure here. And you don't have to drain it super dry. You just want to get rid of most of the liquid. You can also cook your own garbanzo beans from scratch. They take about three hours to cook from scratch, and you have to soak them overnight. They take a really long time. That's why I like to use canned. But if you're using um, your own garbanzo beans, use about, and they're already cooked, use about a cup and a half for this recipe. Okay, so this is a liquid measure, and I have here, oh, this is so cool, three-fourths of a cup of liquid. Okay, this recipe calls for the beans in 15, this is a 15-ounce can, put that in there, and a fourth of a cup of bean liquid. This is easy this time, I can do this, math in my head, this is good for kids too. So I have three-fourths of a cup, I need a fourth of a cup in here. That means I pour it in here until I have a half a cup left in here. Math, after school, it's homework. All right, I don't need that rest of that anymore. Don't need the can anymore. Get it out. Get it All right, next thing is the tahini. Now, this is, there's oil on the top and then the seeds have sort of settled out a little bit. So I'm going to stir this up. This is a job that kids can do. Um, if they're kind of strong, it takes a little bit of muscle. And if you're confident, they aren't going to tip it over. So here you go. Tahini also comes uh, roasted or not roasted. I like it roasted. I just like that toasty flavor. And this one also comes with no added salt. Any kind of tahini will work. Okay, so I need a third of a cup of tahini. My other measuring cup there was for a fourth of a cup. If you end up with some goofy amount of 
bean liquid, something that's not easy to subtract a fourth of a cup from. Just pour it into another measure, it's just easier. Alright, so here's our tahini going in. And kind of just smooth it all out. Okay. Like so. Gonna get that out of the way. Handy to have a uh, counter behind. Okay, next up, the lemon. Okay, here's where the zester comes in. I'm gonna move this over a little bit closer to me, too. Okay, this zester has got little bitty. Um, blades, I guess you could call on it, and you just simply pull the zester over the rind of the lemon, and you don't want to go down to the white part, that's called the pith, and the pith tastes not good, so you're just getting the top, and this is just, just smells so wonderful, you just can't beat it, you just don't get this out of a jar, okay. So here we go. See how that all that nice zest? Right in there. If you have this, you'll use it all the time too. I am fond of saying, if you have a microplane zester, you will add zest to your life. Alright. Don't like that anymore. Let's get all this stuff out of the way that we don't have. Okay, so here is my lemon. And it has seeds. The reamer. Just quick and easy. And some people say if you just squeeze your lemon holding it upright like this that the seeds will stay in there. They don't. They always end up in whatever you're, you're catching the juice in. Okay. Also, lemon juice will find any cut you might have on your hand. And it's kind of ouchy. I don't have any cuts today. That's good. Alright, so here we go to the next one. And this was a pretty good sized lemon. Sometimes when you get organic lemons, they're smaller. And then I, depending on your taste, if you like a lot of lemon, I would use two. If you don't like so much lemon, just use two. Alright. Okay, so there, uh, there's a dozen seeds in there. Easy. Um, I'm going to keep them in there. And just pour in the juice. Almost had an escapee. All right, let's go like so. All right, so there's the juice. Try to keep my mess hidden. <laughs> All right, the recipe also calls for two tablespoons of olive oil in here, and then another tablespoon drizzled on the um, dip when you serve it. Um, I want to talk a little bit about olive oil. There's numerous grades. This is extra virgin olive oil. That's the finest grade. There's then virgin and then pure olive oil. And the extra virgin olive oil is the first pressing of the olives where they just use weight, pressure, to extract the oil from the olives. The next is the virgin pressing and that has a little bit more acid. The extra virgin pressing has a half a percent of acid. The virgin can have up to one percent of acid. Um, and the pure kind is the third pressing and that has heat. And then if you have just plain olive oil, you're going to get the extract that with heat and chemicals. And I, I don't like that. But anyway, in the extra virgin, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but it has a definite color. It's kind of a golden green. Beautiful stuff. And it has a lot of flavor. You don't want to use this oil when you're heating, when you're cooking, like for frying. Um, it'll spoil it, and it's this can be more expensive than the other kinds, and it's a waste if you're going to use it for something that you're heating up. This happens to be a gift to me from a friend who brought it back from Italy. And this is really fine. And so you can't see the color of this, and it's almost gone, it's precious. But I'm going to put it in here. If I, it has a goofy, a goofy uh, pour thing here. It's gorgeous. All right. 
So there we have the olive oil. And then also into here goes, this is the garlic, granulated garlic or dried garlic. You can also use fresh garlic, um, which will have a sharper flavor. And I would use probably a couple cloves of garlic, fresh. You can use it in the jar, probably about a teaspoon and a half of the stuff that's in the jar. And, and this really is depending on your taste. If you like a lot, go for it. If you don't like it at all, you can leave it out. I like it. Cumin, popular spice in Mediterranean cooking, also very popular with beans, and it smells wonderful. If you see this a lot in Mexican dishes also. And then here are the uh, pepper flakes, and those are for later. So I'm going to whiz this up here, and it's just going to take a minute. Okay, it's done. Just that quick. All done. We're going to put it in here in our ramekins. That out of the way. Okay, now hummus is generally served, or often frequently served, with pita bread, which of course is made out of wheat and not something that you want to eat. So we're going to serve it with a whole bunch of veggies. And this way the kids can eat the veggies that they want. They can have their own little portion of hummus. This can, I'm, I have four ramekins here, but you, depending on how hungry your kids are and how old they are, you could get four to eight servings out of this. It's also a wonderful um, addition to a party, like a cocktail party, or a, watching a football game, you know, we got people over. Okay, so I almost have it here. We have celery, tomatoes, these are really, these are Roma tomatoes, they're a meteor tomato, wonderful with hummus. Cucumbers, apples for people who like a little sweet, radishes, and green pepper. All right, and then to serve this, it's really lovely. It, this is optional, but it's really lovely to have that drizzle of olive oil on there. It just seems so rich, and I like to make some little wells into the hummus. Excuse me, it's really good. Um, and just drizzle just a oh. A teaspoon or so. There we go. Oh, gorgeous. And then you can see the beautiful color. And you can also, if, <clears throat> if you want, you can put some, <clears throat> excuse me, you can put some paprika on here for color or various other spices like dill, oregano, all kinds of things. And here you can let people choose to put their pepper flakes on there if they want to. This is just beautiful. I, and you know, it's something that, a good way to get kids to eat more veggies. The other thing about the, making this recipe, if you have kids that are old enough to use power tools, like a blender, they can do it. So anyway, I am going to dig right in. And actually, an apple with some hummus sounds really delightful to me. So, have fun after school.